Welcome everyone to the traditional service here at Christ Fellowship in Palmetto Bay, Florida with Pastor Kerry. Uh, we're going to start today with our first hymn of 469, Revive Us Again. Do we have any other prayer requests or any praise reports? Yes, so. Uh, so. My mother who has leukemia. And her name? Mary. Mary? Okay. Yes. Uh, my grandmother. What is her name? Julia. Julia? And what, 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 what should we be praying for Julia? Her knees. Ah, oh, got it. Oh, boy, I have those too. They hurt. I'm with her. I may even do one for me in that one as well. Okay, thank you. Knees, and we're going to pray for Russell that he gets better. Uh, he's got a terrible cold, and so we just need to pray that all that goes away so that he can continue to do the Lord's work like he does. Um, any other prayer requests? My son is working in China. Okay. What is it? What's your son's name? Keith. Keith. Yeah. I'm sorry. China. 
and I had the opportunity and the blessing to to go feed the homeless this afternoon before I came here and it's a terrible plight and people were so they were blessing me they were thanking the Lord for us being there and it was just like wow you know uh, so I want to pray for the homeless in the city or around the world that they just get the support and it's the churches that are supporting them so wherever you can support your church with the homeless ministry please do it Mm. you know sometimes it's not by choice that they're in this predicament or sometimes it's just life throws them a curve and they don't they can't maneuver around it so we're going to also pray for the homeless so um, please join me in prayer oh yes mary in the philippines mary in the philippines in praise and thanks in regards to everyone in church here especially pastor she said mm-hmm. awesome Hi, Mary. <laughs> all of our friends watching all around the world. Carmen in Mexico. Continue prayer. Jesse, everyone, you had a- everyone asked for continued prayers and always first. First gratitude and praise and thanks. They, a lot of them have such difficult times in lives, but it's always first gratitude and joy and love for the Lord and everybody and praise and thanks. And they uh, ask that we continue to pray for them. They've seen improvement, actually. Absolutely. Fantastic. They give it all to the Lord, literally. Well, he he can handle it. We can't. Amen. Jesse? I have several. uh, uh, First, I want to be thankful and praise God. We have been praying for John Sinicola for a job. And uh, he got a pretty good job. Wonderful. He studies a company nice truck he drives Excellent, fantastic. That's great news. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've been praying for him so well. Okay. And uh, and I'd like to pray for the uh, uh, people in North Florida affected by mm-hmm. the hurricane. Okay. And uh, I'd like to pray also for uh, my uh, Cousins, who's like my my aunt, passed away two weeks ago. I was at the funeral last week, and for their the grieving mm-hmm. uh, and their family. Okay. And also uh, for uh, my brother's friend Mike, who has oral cancer, he's mm-hmm. going in for surgery. Mike Clark. Okay. And uh-huh. for, uh, Julie Castro, who's uh, struggling with breast cancer. I'm ready. And also for uh, my son David, who's in prison. Thank you, Jesse. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer, please. Uh, Thank you, Father, first for all the blessings. Thank you, Lord, uh, for just taking care of us. And Father, thank you for a heart of gratitude that we thank you for all things, that we are grateful for all things, for the challenges as well as for the blessings, Lord. Because either way, it's a reason to just come to you and lean into you with the challenges and also to thank you for all the beautiful things that happen in our lives. Uh, We're going to lift up felicity to you, Lord. May all of the CAT scans and everything that the doctors are going to be doing relating to, to the accident that she had off the horse today, may everything come clean and and there's no problems with that at all and uh mary uh please lord be there with the proper treatments with with whatever that she needs to cure the leukemia please give the the doctors a foresight and and the ability to do whatever it is that they need to do you've gifted them already father so please be there and and cure mary uh, of this leukemia if this is your will lord and julia with her knees and and uh, that joint really takes a beating in our lives, Father. So please, whatever pain she may be experiencing, please, Father, take that pain away. Have her get the rest that she needs and so that, so that she can still live life in a way that, that's pleasing to you and she can get around uh, without the pain. And Russell, Lord, may you, may you clear up his, his chest cold that's really 
pretty bad and mm. so that he can continue doing your work as he yeah. carries your message through all the recovery rooms here in Florida and across this country. And uh, uh, Keith, Lord, uh, pastor's son, Pastor Keith, and his wonderful work in carrying the message in China and his mission there, that such a wonderful mission field there in China. There's so many folks there that are thirsting for, for your word, Lord. So please keep him safe in his travels. Keep him safe while he's there, Lord. And, and just, just bless his ministry. Uh, the, 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 the field is abundant, Lord, and the harvest is tremendous. So, Father, just keep him safe and motivated in, 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 in doing your work there, Lord. And uh, I, I lift up the homeless that I had an opportunity to, to be with today and, and just yes. keep supporting the churches, Lord. Amen. The, the church family to contribute to the ministries either in, in efforts or monetarily. It's it's just, it's sad. And, and, and they were a blessing to me today, Lord. So thank you for that. We want to pray for Mary in the Philippines and all the folks in the Philippines that are watching uh, on on uh, on YouTube, Father, may, may you just continue to, to to just lift them up and and to be blessed by the messages that we're that we're having, and and all the folks that are listening to and watching this the the, the YouTube uh, telecast of this service by Pastor Kerry, uh, may it just continue to bless everyone out there. Yeah. Uh, Lord Carmen, please be with her as she's going through through her situation, Father, and. And all the government officials in this country, may we come together as a nation, not continue to be divided. Uh, and John Zanicola, Lord, what a blessing that he has gotten gainful employment, and he's been so loyal to you and, and, and sharing your word wherever he goes and every opportunity that he has. Uh, please stay close to him. Keep a hedge of angels around him, Lord, so that he continues to use every opportunity he can to share your word. Father, the folks in uh, the Panhandle of Florida, they're going through a very difficult time. Uh, please uh, do everything that you can, Lord, to continue to, to help support these folks through the churches and, and the different uh, government entities that are involved there and the police that, that are coming from other cities and fire departments and, and providing support. It's, it's great to see the humanity come to play and all the self-sacrificing that individuals do to help others when they're in need. Father, and uh, we lift up Jesse's family as they grieve the loss of Jesse's aunt, uh, a matriarch, and that they're able to depend on you for the strength to get through this. And uh, please, Lord, be with the doctors as uh, Mike's oral cancer is treated, as well as with Zuli, with her breast cancer, Lord, may. May, may everything just go away and the treatment be a complete success and and that, and that they're both able to live a complete and full life as yes. a result of this experience and glorify you through it. And Father, we lift up David as he is uh, spending time in, uh, incarcerated. May, may you just touch his heart in ways that his heart has never been touched before. Uh, may, may you use him as a tool. He knows you well. He may not be depending on you as much as he should, but help him turn to you, Lord, so that this would be a, a time of, of rest for him, to be able to rest in you and not have to carry that load on his own. We pray this all in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. 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 Let's go to uh, hymn 141, The Old Rugged Cross. Ladies, please.
was great. Boy, open chow was good, huh? <laughs> that was great. Thank you so much. Uh, now, uh, ready for our offering? Huh? Meet and greet. Oh, I'm sorry. The meet and greet. Sorry, Dwayne. I'm running ahead of myself. Let's take a moment to do a meet and greet. Eddie Morales. So, our next hymn is number 478, Seek Ye First. Ladies, please join me again. Thank you. Thank you so much for the blessings, Lord. Thank you so much for 
the abundance that we have, Lord. May we, yes. may we from that abundance Amen. now, Lord, please offer you our gifts as well so that you may use it to multiply and multiply it to just continue to carry your message and to help those that are in need, Lord. Please uh, bless everyone here and their offerings, Father, and thank you for providing for us and for the opportunity to help provide mm -hmm. for others. I pray this in your son's name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you for uh, your support with the church. Um, now we're going to do uh, Psalm 516 when the roll is called up yonder. Amen. It's all about life eternal. Okay. Ladies. Let us labor for the master from the 